Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and let's see what we can code in 5 Minutes with Zim. Well, what we're going to do is go to the Zim site now and press on Code. That's at zimjs.com. We'll press on Code. We'll hit the Copy, and that copies our template. We'll come into an editor. I'm using Atom, and we'll paste here. Paste, 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 paste. There it is, or Control V. And we're ready to go here with the Zim template. So let's start our counter for five minutes. There we go. And we will get rid of what we had there before. The, that's just in the template. That's some circle. And we will make a path. Let's make a path. So uh, const path is equal to a new blob. You can make a, a path with a blob or a blig. <laughs> you can make a path with a blob or a squiggle. And uh, when you make a path with a blob, if you want just the outline, then we can set a border color of dark, for instance. And how about a border width? It'll have a default width. Uh, it won't have a, border, a default border color, though. By default, it's just a filled blob. And so if you specify a border color, then it becomes a line around it, and if you don't, after that, specify a color, then it's just the line. So that's how the blob works. So border width of something like three. And we will dot center that on the stage and have a look. So open that up in a browser. And there she be. Now this has Bezier points, and you can uh, move those around, and you can record that really easily. Record points, and you'll get a blob. Like, I like that, a uh, path. Uh, the other thing you can do, though, is go and get paths. So we'll go back to Zim, and this is the code section in Zim. If you scroll down in the code section in Zim, there's some extra libraries, and there's one right there for pizzazz. And pizzazz gives us all these things, including these paths. So rather than a plain path like that, uh, now here's a bunch of options, or you could make these yourself. So we'll click on the roller coaster. And then you can get the code, copy that, or you can import some uh, some SVG as well. So Zim in the blob, you can add an SVG if you want uh, here. So points, and then we paste, comma. And like I said, if you had SVG path code, you could put that here as well. So now we have SVG. I want to make that a bit bigger. Dot ska, mm, twice as big. That will scale both the path. Over here, over here. That will scale both the path and the handles. We don't really care about the handles now. You can you can also transform points on the blob, and that will just uh, scale the shape and not the handles. Uh, anyway, we don't care about the handles. If you do care, the, 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 we've just also scaled the thickness of it, the width. You can either reduce it there, or there's a setting in all shapes that says uh, when you scale the shape, it no, do not scale the, the border. So that's a fairly new thing in Zim, but you can set that up too. So in here, we want to say, what are we doing? Oh yeah, interactive colon false. That will set it up so that we can't interact with the blob. Do you want to see that? There it is. Now we can't interact with that. And all we have to do is animate along a path. We have a couple minutes to do that. So we will say, hey, give me a new circle. I can imagine that we're on the roller coaster in the circle. How about a 20 for the, the radius of it? We'll make it red for excitement. Uh, we only need to add this to the stage. It, does, it doesn't really matter where we add it because we're going to animate it along this path. So the props that we're animating are the path that we're following, and that happens to be called path. In ES6, we could just put the word path there, and that would be fine. But just in case you're not used to ES6, there we go. So it's animating along the path. We'll say in oh, five seconds. That's five seconds. Why don't we make it loop? Hey, why not get a free roller coaster ride forever? Loop colon true. And what else might we say? Ease, colon, linear. This will make it uh, go around in a linear fashion. Well, no, not in a line, but the easing will look like it's continuous motion. I think that's probably better. And we open it up in a browser. Are you ready for your roller coaster ride? Wow! Ah! Woohoo!
Yeah! Woohoo! And let's pause that clock at four minutes and 28 seconds for a roller coaster ride here at Zim. Whoa! So that's what you can code in five minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract. If you're still here, hanging around, uh, come join us at zimjs.com slash slack. Find out what's going on and start building with Zim. Get creative. It is so much fun.